Next speaker, Kevin Snyder, the mistake, the mistake, Kevin Snyder. Right then, I made a, made a big mistake that would change my life. By show of hands, who here has ever made a mistake? <laughs> Look around. If you see someone with their hand not up, please check their pulse. <laughs> Contest chair and my mistake-prone audience. Isn't it nice to know we all have something in common? I was 16 years old with my high school choir. We were at Disney World competing in a national singing championship. I was honored to not only be president of the choir, but also to have earned the feature solo. A few hours before the competition, several of us were inside one of the Disney gift shops. And in that moment, I became tempted by the one thing that can make a teenage boy do anything. A teenage girl <laughs> named Michelle. She and I were standing directly in front of the display of collector hats. She leans over and whispers, Psst, Kevin, psst, take it. Oh, I took it. Thinking it would impress her, I actually stole that. I stole the most ridiculous, <laughs> obnoxious, absurd-looking, goofy hat you could possibly imagine. <laughs> I scanned the store looking for the exit. Just as I was about to make my way outside, oh, a police officer. So huge, I thought he was a new Disney character. <laughs> he pulled me embarrassingly through the crowd, and I thought I could just apologize and pay for the hat. He fingerprinted me, handcuffed me, and then he left me in an isolation room. What had I done? After several hours passed, the door opens. In walks my mom. <laughs> mom was a chaperone on this trip and a teacher at the same school. <laughs> mom fixated on my handcuffs and began to cry. And that's when the gravity finally weighed in that I was being arrested for stealing this $12 goofy hat. <laughs> what a stupid mistake! I missed that performance in the championship finals and that featured solo I'd worked so hard on. We were favored to win, but we lost because of me. We had a 10-hour bus ride home. We were delayed an extra five hours while they waited for me to be released. When I did set foot onto that bus, it was silent. No one would talk to me. Even Michelle ignored me. In fact, she never spoke to me again. I took my seat at the front. I felt humiliated for the mistake I had made. Several hours into that bus ride home, I received a note. Kevin, I know we don't know each other that well, but my dad often said, never let a mistake define you. Jenny, P.S., I have an open seat next to me if you want to talk. Well, forget Michelle. <laughs> When no one would talk to me, and when I needed it the most, Jenny looked beyond my mistake, lifted me up, and taught me about real relationships, that they're often unconditional, and they're always tested through adversity. Then, bus ride home, we finally arrived at 5 a.m., and both my dad and the principal were waiting for me. <laughs> The principal immediately suspended me from school for five days. 
editor caught wind of the story, featured it on the front page. Disney wrote me a letter that same week, banning me from ever coming back to the park. They also gave me a fine of $2,500. And you thought Disney was expensive. <laughs> My senior summer was now spent working two jobs to pay for that fine. One, mowing lawns, and the other, at a restaurant serving tables. But what impacted me the most was knowing that my actions caused embarrassment for not just myself, but for my choir and my family. We've often heard things happen for a reason. This mistake taught me things happen so we can seek understanding and reason. Otherwise, the lesson's lost and likely repeated. Ladies and gentlemen, for just a moment, think about any mistake you've ever made. Maybe you have yet to understand it. Maybe you still feel defined by it. Maybe that mistake was done to you. But did you learn something from it? Has that mistake made you better in any way? Has it led you to where you are today? And by asking yourself those questions, you'll quickly realize the only mistake is seeing it as a mistake. Whatever that, that mistake was is now a lesson of wisdom, a teachable moment you can learn from no other way. My mistake, it cost me time and money. But it taught me about the value of unconditional relationships, which have led me to now become a better man, and also to Jenny, who's here today. Oh. <laughs> My mistake taught me about the power of responsibility, which led me to that summer restaurant job, showing me I love speaking <laughs> and people, leading me to a new career in education, but also to Toastmasters. And here, my goofy mistake has taught me my greatest lessons. What's your goofy hat? Psst, take it. Take it. Not the hat. Take the lesson. And never, ever let a mistake 